Finley here, and I'm going to show you how to kill pufferfish. I'm going to show you how to find them, how not to kill them, and two different methods, a slow method and a fast method. So first, how to find them is by that popping sound you hear. And as I move around the raft, you can hear it get softer and louder. So I can locate it that way. Uh, there are often around oil slicks, but they don't need an oil slick, and sometimes you'll see oil slicks that don't have puffer fish. When I get to a large island, I usually first kill the warthog, then the screecher, get everything off the island, then paddle around the island, looking over the raft, finding everything, going down and getting it, and killing the puffer fish. Oops, I don't want to be in there. Okay, so first, do not use the spear. Just doesn't work. You have to get too close to even hit him, and then poof, and he's gone, and you don't get pufferfish heads or explosive goo. Now, on to the slow method, which is shooting it with the arrow from the raft. It has the look shark going through the land. <laughs> uh, added benefit of you can shoot the shark whenever it comes by, if you notice it fast enough. So I get right up on the edge of the raft. I'm standing on the raft here. And you have to wait patiently for the puffer fish to come close to the surface. It is best to have him coming right at you. You can see he's got an arrow in him. The arrows go away pretty quickly, so you'll lose them. You lose a lot more arrows during this little method. straight at me. Boom. Shark. And you can see the time of day changing because this, this can take a while. Sometimes they're shy and they won't come up to you. This is the slow, patient hunter method. You grab them. Goodies that they protect. Though they don't always seem to be protecting a lot of goodies. In this case, there weren't a lot of goodies. another one and these are just clips again this is a lot of time is passing here these are just the the shots that that landed it takes a lot of time the slow method slow safe method he will never explode on you with the slow method look around for the shark arrow ah shark shark. And so not all oil flicks have pufferfish. No pufferfish here. This was a very rich oil slick. So oil slicks usually mean that there's valuables underneath. But I will find the silver algae without one. And this was, I went back multiple times and, to get, and got a lot of metals in this spot. Shark. 
the shark died, but uh, I don't have a spear. Run, get a spear. <laughs> Run, get a spear. Meat, meat, head, meat. Okay, so I was on an island. And I noticed, I was just running around getting all the stuff from the island. And I noticed this puffer fish in a very bad spot. I can't get my big raft close enough here. And it's a very shallow area. So, I didn't want to use the fast method either, which is what was coming up. But they had this stone bridge here. So, I decided to hop down and use that instead of the edge of the raft. Line up, don't fall in. Don't know if I could get back up if I fell in, but end up not falling in. And then wait for him to come up. So the fast method, of course, is to hop in the water and try to kill him kill quickly. This is how not to do it. So I went straight down and then backed up vertically. So I'm going there, I'm at the surface, but I can't see him. I can't see him. I have to rush away. Where is he? He's following me. No, I'm at the surface again. Get him. Try it. No, miss. Down. Terrible. You have to go deep. Do not do this shallowly. This is a how not to. Don't do this. And I'm backing up to an island here. To the land. He dies, but I was very, if I, I had no more room, I was very lucky that he didn't explode. So don't do that this way. So you need to hop in a good distance from where you hear the loudest popping, find him breathe, then go deep and shoot and back up horizontally so that you're always in deep water. You don't hit the surface. So I breathe, we're going, we're going to find him. Going deep. There he is. I want, don't want to be backing up into the rocks. So I came at this angle. And I'm shooting and backing up horizontally. Boom, boom. Boom, just quick and easy. He dies, and then we get all our arrows back. It is best to go to the side to get your arrows and then pick up your puffer fish. And my goo. And the shark got me. <laughs> so a few more of these. This is shallow, but this deep on the side. So I'm going to the deep area. And we'll find him. Breathe. Go as 
deep as we can in this, to get coming into the shallow area. And then let him come to me so that I'm backing up to the deep. He's a little higher than me, so as I back up, I'm going a little deeper. They often go to the side. They jump to the side. Watch for that. And then come out from the side and pick up all my arrows. Pick up my fluffer fish. And the shark took the bait over there. Did you see that? That's, that's terrific. Sometimes it takes forever for the shark to take the bait. Developers, if you're watching this, the bait needs to be more tempting. At least as tempting as me when I jump in the water. It has taken days sometimes. Okay, so we're in. Finding him. Where are you? Where are you? No, no. Is that you? Yeah, there you are. There you are. I need to breathe. Go deep. Deep as you can. He's above me. Backing up. Shooting. Two. Three shots to kill. Oh, that was two. There we go. Three. Three shots to kill the pufferfish. Arrows. Hollow pufferfish. Two goos. Yay! I cocked my arrow, my bow, cocked my bow before I jump in just in case. Find him. Be the last one. So I hope this has been helpful. Please subscribe. Check out my other videos. I've uh, shown you how to kill this creature. I'll show you the warthog and uh, some just general tips and tricks that I don't see a lot of people showing. So subscribe. Very new at this. It's the only first game I've ever done these on because there's a lot of uh, gameplay videos but not a lot of clips of how to do things. So yeah, I hope I'm helping people. I had fun doing it. Here he goes. Grab my arrows. See you later.